bubble up and get excited. We're about to make the fat quarter fizz. All you need are 10 light and 10 dark fat quarters. Download the pattern at Fat Quarter Shop and let's get to it. To start, we're gonna cut our fat quarters. We're gonna stack, layer, and cut four fat quarters at one time. From each fat quarter, you're gonna need one six and a half by 13 inch rectangle and one 12 and a half by 13 inch rectangle. Today, we're using two creative grid rulers that are six and a half by 24 and a half inches and you're gonna see why we're using them now. We're gonna layer our fat quarters. We're gonna cut on the left to trim to get a straight line. Then, both widths are 13 inches. Six and a half plus six and a half is 13. Just line it up right on the left and cut. Now we need to have a starting point. So we're gonna make a straight line here. Turn it around. Our next cut is just six and a half. It's the size of the ruler. So you just line it up and cut. And now we need a 12 and a half inch piece. So since the two of these rulers combined are 13, we're just gonna take half an inch off and cut. We're gonna repeat that and cut the rest of our fat quarters. When we're sewing today, we're gonna use a medium gray thread, RFL color 2610. We're also gonna use a 2.0 stitch length and a quarter inch seam allowance. I've divided my fabric into four stacks. I've got my large rectangles, with a dark and a light, and my small rectangles with a light and a dark. You're gonna put along the 13 inch side, put your fabrics right sides together, and sew. You're gonna make a total of 10, and they're gonna look like this, and you're gonna press to the dark. Then on these, you're gonna do the same thing. Put your fabrics right sides together along the 13 inch side, so they're gonna look like this and you're gonna press to the dark again. So now we've got our blocks pieced, we're gonna treat them all the same and cut them in half. We're gonna use the same ruler as before, six and a half inches wide. Line up the left end and your perpendicular line and just cut in half. You're gonna continue cutting until they're all cut. And now we have 20 dark half block units and 20 light half block units. And we're ready to turn those into our final block. So first we're gonna start with our darks. We're going to just take them, rotate some scrappy blocks, just put them any way you like. You're always gonna want a square in the top right for your blocks to work. You're gonna put your blocks right sides together and sew along the 18 and a half inch side. Your blocks are gonna look like this. You're gonna press to the left and you're gonna put a marker to say you're at the top because when you're doing your rows, you wanna keep your tops up and your seams will all nest. And now we're ready to work on our light half block units. Again, you're just gonna put them together and do the same thing. Make sure your square is in the top right, right sides together. This time, you're gonna press to the right. You're gonna label the top, and now we're ready to put together our quilt rows. We're gonna make two dark quilt rows and two light quilt rows. For your dark quilt row, assemble three dark blocks and two light blocks. Press to the right and keep your tops facing up. For your light quilt row, assemble three light blocks and two dark blocks. Press to the left and keep your tops facing up. Assemble your quilt center, alternating your dark quilt rows and your light quilt rows. Your quilt top should measure 60 and a half by 72 and a half inches. Celebrate your fat quarter fizz with a sparkling beverage. If you liked our video today, give us a thumbs up, share on social media, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.